Hey guys, just gonna have Loki being uh, creepy down here by the edge of the camera. Anyway, still working on this doll. Um, I'll show you progress. I decided that the original legs that I made just went down on the floor like a spear. Anyway, I decided that these legs were like way too insanely long and I was not happy with that so I had sewn the one on and decided you know what no I'm cutting that off I'm redoing them so yeah um working on that right now I cut it down by 15 stitches which might be a little bit too short but we'll see what happens with it because it is going to stretch out thanks to the cotton that I put in here um, cause I do tend to over stuff and, you know, so you can kind of see the stuffing in between the stitches and I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens with it. But yeah, so I'm holding him like this because I've got his outer coat kind of thing on there. You know what? Let me show you on the Funko Pop. So you can see that he's got this thing, um, that is kind of... I guess part of the the main shirt that he's wearing which is what I did here and then there is the coat or jacket coat thing that he has on that is this um, you know it has that kind of gold trim to it and then the little things on the sides and you know all the different gold details that I'm gonna have to do either with felt or with the goldish yarn that I have here but yeah so I got the main portion of the jacket done um, still need to put the green on it which means that I have to go and get jelly bean colored yarn um, Yes, that actually is the the name of the yarn. It is called Jelly Bean because I don't think I have any more. And initially, I was just going to use the forest green. But if you compare that to, you know, the Funko Pop and even to the pictures that I found online, because I was like, you know what, maybe the Funko Pop kind of brightened up some of the colors. Yeah, no. <laughs> it, it is that color in the images from the movie. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to go and buy jelly bean green instead of using forest green. So that's kind of annoying, especially since it is freaking downpouring and has been the entire day. Um, I'm not quite done with Defy the Night. Um, I The second book should be arriving. Today is actually Saturday when I'm filming, but the second book should be arriving today, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I did have more... Um, to read than I thought. You know what? Let me go grab the book. I'll show you where the bookmark is. Okay, so I am, you know, a little more than halfway through. I am at 303 of... four forty three. So what is that? A hundred and... three oh three... a hundred and forty pages left? So, yeah, not too bad. Probably take me, I mean, heck, if I read it today, um, yeah, it, I'd be done tonight, <laughs> which is what I might do. I'm uh, going out to dinner at Panera with a friend of mine, uh, one of my best friends, because we haven't seen one another in weeks, and, you know, we have missed one another and want to catch up on everything, but, you know, I came back from Texas, and I had the cough and the congestion and everything, and she had an illness and a couple other things that she was dealing with, so it just hasn't been a good time to meet up. Um, but next week she is going to be with her husband down in Disney and they're doing some stuff down in, in, uh, that area. And so, yeah, you know, this, this weekend is the last chance that we get to meet up before she goes on vacation and, you know, it'd be another week and a half or something like that before we'd be able to meet up. But yeah, so we're meeting up today and then I probably will come back and like, go back to reading this unless I, well, I'm definitely gonna get the jelly bean yarn tonight because tomorrow, um, I, unfortunately, you know, depending on how you feel about the place, Hobby Lobby is where I get a good chunk of my yarn. Um, but yeah, 
they are closed on Sundays, so I can't get it today, and or can't get it tomorrow, and today is the last day this week that the yarn is on sale. Otherwise, I'd have to wait another week because it's full price next week. I mean, I would pay a full price if I didn't get there today, but I don't want to pay full price. <laughs> so yeah, um, going there later today, you know, when I'm already out, because that way it's not individual trips in the rain. But yeah, gonna get the jelly bean yarn, gonna either go back to that or the reading later tonight and we'll see what kind of progress I can make on Loki the rest of the weekend. Um, at this point I am semi-determined to also make a Captain America doll for when I meet Chris Evans, um, which is gonna be an even shorter deadline because I meet Chris Evans on the 13th and Loki on the 15th. So yeah, <laughs> this, oh. I, mmm, why can't I stop coming up with crochet projects? <laughs> Literally, I did not want to crochet for the rest of the year. I wanted to just take a nice, clean break for a little while. And then I find out Tom Hiddleston is going to be at Comic-Con, so it's like, oh my god, I have to freaking make Loki. <sighs> anyway, it'll be worth it, though, because, like I said, I'm writing this down. I'm going to make Loki. I might make Cap for this whole thing. Um, I'm definitely going to be making Cap, Iron Man, uh, Hawkeye, uh, Black Widow, Hulk, all of them for the future. Um, don't know exactly when, but, you know, they will get done. In the future, I'll definitely make other ones, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, all of those. Um, it'll be awesome. <laughs> it will definitely be awesome. So, yeah, that is what's going on with me right now. I will come back um, maybe Wednesday or Friday, depending on how long it takes me to finish Defy the Night. And the second one, the name of which I can't recall at this moment. But anyway, I will see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.